Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I, as I was editing last episode, I realized I never even noticed this guy come crashing in. <laughs> he was there for the last 10-15 minutes. Anyway, it is something to scavenge. So, Carter, I've got a sign to hit out here and butcher. Yeah. Um, Edmund... I need to immediately build this power pole. I realized as I was placing those when I was editing that there is no cord running to these two or these two. So half of our power out here is not even being used. So that should make a huge difference in the not only the batteries but how often all these guys are running which means a big difference in our fuel supply. Yeah, so folks are starting to get up and move about. Edmund's going to work on that pole. Carter is still sound asleep. Rita is going to work with these guys. I got to thinking, we don't really need these anyway. What we need is grain, so may as well be growing grain in here in the, in the winter time. So she's going to start working with that. Paulette's got a couple of cooking assignments ahead of her. And I found out that the meat soup is able to use the dried meats which we have so much of a thousand dried meats so i can make meat soup out of those must be seven six six in the morning all the lighting gets reset it's kind of odd um edmund is transporting meats or something how about you instead scavenge this cargo container Let's see what happens. We asked for a railgun sniper, if I remember right. So, what happens here? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take our time trying to figure out how to open this box. Okay, it's kind of odd. I mean, it looks pretty, uh, pretty simple right there. A couple of hasps and, hmm. Okay. Well, I can't say that's the way I would have done it. Um, we've got power, one, two, and I believe that's one, two, so, and up here, did we, 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 we didn't connect from there to there, really? Okay, well, let's copy, no, let's move. It shows it's there. Okay, well... I guess I'll do that. Hmm. I don't understand. So, are you connected? No, status is off. Whereas this one, yeah. Okay, that's weird. So, Edmund, when you're done, since you're out here, you can do this next. Okay. So, what you got? I, I see what's wrong. You're on the wrong side of the box. The latch is over here, dude. I had the weirdest dream the other night. Oh, you can hear those generators fire up. Okay, oh, that was quick. So you are officially a real gun sniper 1.0. So you're gonna go do that. Rita, you probably should be the one to grab this one. Yours is just about running out. All right, so you can equip a real gun sniper next. When, whatever you're doing. You are... I guess you were doing something in here, but you're probably dropping off, uh, you know, more mushrooms and restocking or something. Okay, Prince is up. Uh, Umiar is getting some, uh, did you sleep? You were doing, you did. You were doing these, uh, fuel buckets till like three or four in the morning. That last noise, we scavenged one of those. That old equipment, no cued research. And we moved this. Okay. But it's still... Oh, it does now. Now it shows them connected. Maybe it did before and I just couldn't see it. Those wires are really thin. No, it didn't because that was definitely red and now it's not red anymore. Okay. So with that, we... What am I getting out of this? We're losing seven at the moment. Okay. So we're not quite holding even with the power these guys are using but we're really close so we're actually we we're not gonna be able to keep up okay so really what it comes down to now is how far ahead are we gonna get at night with the wind power we're not 
we're not. So at this point, we cannot even maintain. Negative seven with everything running, unless there's just no wind right now. 20 out of 40, that's decent wind. You guys don't have, you're just a straight out of 20. Okay, so we need more in order to bank anything. What was that that just flew by? So Carter is bringing back the least important thing, the leathers. <laughs> Thank you, Carter. And Edmund is bringing back the leathers over here that I thought I forbid. I guess he found others. Edmund, why don't you just leave that and come over here and grab the meat? That's what we really need. Yeah. And I think that fell into this pile, which made it forbidden. I think it combined them. <laughs> no, can you also, you know, dude, do that one and that one and whatever else you find. Let's get the red meats in. And that one. Wow, I've really got to tell him each time. That's, hmm. He's done that better in the past. He really has. So now we are waiting for another contact up above. We're still up and running on our radio and our antennas. Okay, so, whoa. Yeah, he is a big bird. There he goes. All right, so what else needs to be done? I guess just continue maintaining. Building this for our our new arrival whenever that is to happen. We got our pregnant Olfen over here. And gates are in. Second Olfen is back over here. You think you guys would just, you know, walk right over that fence. That's right. We were talking about this over here last time. My thought was to make it so that they could not shoot out here and aggro anything to start attacking this wall. Just like two or three episodes ago, we started shooting the bugs that were out over here, and they came at us and beat this wall up pretty badly. And it was because we attacked them from here, so they went straight at us. Had we not, they would have worked their way around and come on into here and then got annihilated by the traps. So, same thing. If we start attacking them here, they're never going to make it to our traps. They're just going to attack this wall and beat it up. So, now I'm seriously wondering if what we need here is a barricade so they can't get, they can't be shot from here. We could go this very expensive route. Could we not also just build these taller? Curious. Can I construct you to be Z or X? That tall. Okay. You are not tall enough to do any good. Okay, so that won't work. But I could build you guys that tall and then put the smaller version of this over the top. Because you are 10 nanotubes and the smaller version is fence right there. 5 nanotubes, so I can get twice as much fencing out of it. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Um, I think it needs to wrap through here, around, and out into here. Okay, so let's, I guess I can let this guy run, and let's take out those. Uh, you guys deconstruct, you deconstruct. Okay. And let's get rid of all of that. So cancel all those orders. Oh, wrong orders. <laughs> anyway, um, floor construction cancel. And what are these? Some kind of wall or defense? Uh, you right there. Okay, so that all goes away. These get taken down. And can I just make them bigger? I don't think I can. All I can do is change where they're made out of. So i got to tear these down and rebuild them. Carter, don't go away. So all of you... Yeah, let's figure out how best to do that. If I were to go from there to there... No, I guess i got to completely fill them. Alright, so floor... I think that is you guys. Deconstruct. Perfect. So take you out... And then, let's take you out. Um, deconstruct. 
I think I will take the chance of putting you in here. So move you to there, like so. And we're gonna, yeah, we'll get rid of the, f the fence or the, the gate. All right, I think that will work. So Carter, see if you automatically get the orders to just move in there and take the rest of them out. Good, but you are gonna start at that end first. No, you're gonna start right in the middle. Um, not sure I'm following the logic on that one, but okay. <laughs> so that guy moves over. I'd still want this to be stronger. So we could still reconstruct this. Uh, I got them all, I think so, out of brick fence. Reconstruct you to carbon. And I still want you to be carbon. And you too to be carbon. Okay, so it's still stronger protecting what's inside of here. They still may be attacked. Uh, arrow flying spaceship debris is coming in fast. That's clear out over here. What direction is it coming from? I hear it. But I do not see it. There you are. Okay, more to scavenge. More scrap metal. Was that a second one? Oh, it might have been a second one. Two booms. Okay, so Carter's finishing these. Let's go ahead and get this moved right now. I'm hearing thunder. Ooh, okay. Move that just to get it out of there so I can... I can... Uh, rebuild this quicker all right so you're there that's gonna go around so I'm thinking it could be wood it doesn't have to be uh, strong it's within the walls so you will I got oh you took it away from me okay stop that copy yeah copy here and let's Z you to the X you to the top okay it's there to there ah okay we got it few annoying little things you got to go away so deconstruct you so I can repair this while standing on this and I can stand on this by taking a ladder up so I don't really have to have access to these things yeah let's take you away any others to take away no I think we can work with that now all right so yeah you'll get the order here in a moment um, we just went dark so I take it Oh, snow. We're in the winter time. That's right. No lightning. So, snow is about to start falling. What's everybody else doing? You're doing that. A lot of transporting going on. Construction and building. So, you're summoning those guys so we can get this going. Two are done. And one more is stored somewhere, and you're about to make number four. So we're one and a half away. All right, so Carter, before you go away, no, you don't need to go deliver that that one piece. Um, okay, so I've got to do this the hard way. Housing, flooring, yeah, wood. And you're going to be there. And you're going to be as high as it goes to there. And then we're going to copy you. Work area blocked. Why do you suppose the work area is blocked? I don't know, but let's get rid of you and try you from another direction. Copy and put you over here. Because you're halfway into the other one, you can't figure out that part okay well, I suppose this doesn't work then it worked before because they were the same heights you copy so if I were to Z down to there oh you're accepting it now so can I X again nope you'll just take it to there Okay, well, 
I suppose I'll have to just accept that. Going to there. And... Do we go any further? Probably not. So you copy. Let's run you down that link there. And let's change you to match that one. So copy there. All right, so from there, let's grab the walls. That might still be tall enough. We'll see. Defense, fence, carbon. And one more time. Copy there to there. I think that'll work. I think it cannot get through this height to attack what's down here, but it can get diagonal to flying objects, flying birds, and, or humming flies, or what have you. I think that does what I wanted it to do. Now, we still have the problem of shooting things out here. But if they bust a wall here, they're still going to run into traps. So I think we're okay there. Alright, I'm liking that plan a lot better. Alright, let you go. So, um... Carter, while you're here, how about starting to assemble these guys? Since we have the materials out here already, may as well go ahead and do that. Okay, then. Um... Now what? Well, it feels like it's dark, nighttime already. It's five in the in the evening, but the snow's coming down. The sky is all well over there. It's cloudy, kind of. <laughs> Still working on the atmosphere, I, I think. All right, so that's there. We're going to rebuild these fences. Probably wise to rebuild these two as well to carbon and is that gate enough rebuild you we're at what sticks I guess integrity 20 really 40 for that one no no let's change into you it doesn't say what you are let's go this route uh, defense fence yeah, poles. So you're 50. It just won't show it to me because... I don't know. <laughs> Let's rebuild you to something more than 50. So that becomes carbon fence of 500. Do we have to jump from 50 to 500? Huh. Alright. We'll do it for this section here. And then we want to... Take you... Yeah, let's... I don't know what it's going to grab, the brick fence or the other. Uh, copy. I guess it'll grab the brick. So that's not what I want. Let's... Yeah, I guess it could be. Let's carbon on the outside, brick on the inside. Okay, so you're going to go from there to there. And you are going to pop in right over there. Okay, so those get built... This gets upgraded. This gets upgraded. Uh, carbon. That gets us into this area, though unfortunately from the outside. Uh, you need to be extended. So copy from there to there. And you two could stand to be rebuilt. Four pole fences. Okay, just you and you. There we go. And carbon. And then, are all of these set to be upgraded? Uh, let's go from here to here. And if I hit control, can I minus? I cannot. Okay. So let's try this a little more carefully. From here to there. All of these guys. Nope, yeah, because some are and some aren't, so it won't let me mix. Okay. You, you, you. You, 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 and you. Upgrade you guys to carbon. So what is not blue outlined on the perimeter now? Uh, this guy. 
Actually, that's probably not necessary. Undo that part, undo that part. If they want to pick on that, fine. We can fix that easy enough, and it'll keep them busy while we're taking care of other ones. Okay. So that's all done. You guys have been doing your thing all day long on your own. Omar is handling a furnace, which is doing what now? Making us more alloys. Um, probably a good idea. We're behind by 120 bricks. We can only make five at a time. So I think at this point, let's go ahead and shift you over to bricks, which means you guys are now bricks. Now we did that mid-run, which I guess canceled you, which is fine. Go get something to eat. Reed is eating. Paulette is making eats. Simon is assembling. I'm going to say the last one to get this guy going. We have three in there, and we've got one stored somewhere. You are a malfunction ceiling lamp, which is alloys. And now we've got generators running like crazy. Fuel is here, 300 fuel. And bugs are pretty much all degraded and not worth even going after right now. Okay. Um, any more repairs to do? I know I canceled a bunch of repairs accidentally, but I think we're fine there. These repairs are still a thing. Aggressive Animals 2. Oh, and 10 and 43. You guys are all in here. And they're all animals that are going to run the gauntlet. Great. Okay, that happens in, I'm going to guess, 6 hours. So 7 in the morning. Let's just preemptively set you to about there. And you to... Not sure. Let's go a little further. Out in there. Okay. Otherwise, I think miss both missiles may hit the same spot at the same time and double kill the very same enemy and not, you know, not not really uh, spread out the uh, the effect. Okay then. So you guys, seven o'clock. Um, going to sleep. Except for Edmund, who gotta bring in that leather. Okay. And I guess that's just a thing. So we'll be sure to set you here for leather. In fact, let's take all the foods back off. So no more foods, but you get the leathers. Okay. So is that good? I think that's good. Let's copy and let's paste. Uh, right there. So, Edmund, are you going to sleep? You are going to sleep. Alright. So you guys do your things. Who needs? Who's starving? Uh, Carter, when you're done, you need to immediately get a plus 18. And if there's time, another plus 18. Paulette's fine. Rita's... Yeah, she could come over here and say hi to you while you're doing that. Um, yep, yeah, I think we're just going to work on our needs at the moment. You're going to need bread? No, you like buttermelon pies. That's right. So you go immediately and grab that when you get up. Umayar likes bread. but He's he's in good shape there. He's in good shape everywhere else. He's actually ready to go do his thing. So when you get up, if there's time, why don't you move the stored undesired items and get the bush roots out of there. Okay. Then we've got the attack coming in. And it is definitely starting to look like winter out there. It is. Carter's getting up. It is 4 in the morning. He's got time. Edmund, too, to start getting their, their stance up better before this attack. So... Nothing changed when we move this, right? We're still active 3, inactive 4. Okay. Your sphere of influence is there. This sphere of influence, um, there, is over here. And it would have been nice to have kicked that over further. Actually, we can do that now. We can. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of chittering over here. Hear that? There we go. 
Yeah, sounds like bugs. Um, you, now that we're not running Olfen over here, there's probably no reason why we can't put you move. More like, because the other one is this sphere right here. So if we were to overlap like that, so we can catch them coming around. Ooh, I like that. So that puts us in around this area. I think right there. Okay. So Carter, if you're available, you are. Yeah, your fullness will be fine. So after you've done that, you're already doing the shroom torch. Good. You can move the motion sensor. Okay. So that makes us a little bit... Yeah, we'll fire off our... our uh, we'll arm our, our defense system a little more accurately there. And we're protecting some pretty important stuff in here. We really are. We'll wait for these repairs to get done. I No, I don't think we even need to do that. Let's just set these guys from here over. Uh, how far? I think to about there. All of you guys, let's upgrade to carbon fence as well. And then let's upgrade... Oh, say from there to there, to carbon fence. Okay, why do I get the feeling that didn't work? Yeah, why didn't that work? Apparently I didn't select something. Let's try that again. You select the fence and upgrade. So what did I upgrade? I upgraded the gates, I think. Anyway, you're going to go there. And so, yeah, we got to hang on to Edmund and Carter for a lot longer time. You guys are all going to be... Yeah. We have to do this almost individually. Let's get the timer going again and deal with this a little bit at a time. So I need you level across the screen. And I need to go from you to there. And I can't because there's repair orders in there. Cancel orders, now I can do it. Okay. Carbon fence you. So that's you guys, you guys, and all of you guys to one end of there. Cancel orders and carbon fence seal. Okay. So in that case, it would make sense to go ahead and carbon fence these guys too. Carbon. Attack's about to happen. Can Carter do that? I don't think so. I think that one waits. All right, so Carter, you are here anyway, so hop in, draft, and take a position right there. Uh, Paulette, whatever you were doing, we could use your stun gun. And you you do have the good new one, right? You do. Okay. So Paulette, draft, and head into right here. That should give you range toward the entrance of the gauntlet. Rita, you... Is there any reason to be over here right now? Their range is huge with these uh, railgun snipers. And that's still the original railgun snipers. It's not the uh, the 2.0s. It's still a good gun. So let's draft you and bring you into this area as well. That didn't work. Rita going to here. Okay. Simon, you have got the railgun as well. Draft. I guess this is just kind of the area for everyone. Edmund as well. And Umiar, you do as well. Yep. Right there. So where is everyone? I never thought to to verify that everyone was within the compound, but it looks like you are. I see five names. Who am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, Prince. Okay, I'm a little worried. Mining Outpo. Carter. Edmund, what'd, what'd you do? I don't know what he was going to go get. <laughs> well, he's out of this battle. Which will prove to us that we can still handle a battle with only five guns. So, by losing Paulette. Though, that means somebody else, maybe Umayar, will take on the stun gun. He's, he's uh, got a lot of expertise there. Alright, so you guys coming in. We should be triggering, so missiles are about to launch. Here they go. Boom, boom, boom. There goes these guys. Yep. And then we've got these guys cool 
And now we've got these guys. We still have barely gotten into the gauntlet. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 25 of the little critters left. Uh, hey, Edmund. He joined us. Cool. Now, what's it look like from their point of view? They're all trapped in traps. Yep. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Traps do a good job of just hanging on to them for a while. Yeah. I'm feeling more and more confident that our our little dudes can make it as, as one by one leaves. So, that's good. Edmund, you guys can all undraft and do your things, eats and what have you, as everyone else is... Yeah, going back to sleep again, our, our equipment. And Edmund is... Back to there. You are idling. I need you to move a sensor. You do that one. And Simon is doing what? You are idling. You're just going to walk over there to idle. Anybody else? They're all idling. It's 8 o'clock and they don't know what to do with themselves. Well, we could use the bug meat this time. We really could. So, Carter, you're in good shape. Um, let's set all of you guys to butcher and all of you guys to butcher that we've got a bunch of the old bugs still here unfortunately but we'll just have to do it butcher you guys and what have we missed you're the old ones yeah only one so no, none of the of those scarabai anything in here no yeah, so i guess that's enough so we'll have carter jump in and butcher you guys and Simon, what are you up to? You are going to eat. I'm tempted to send you up to get some more supplies of some kind. Well, we have enough carbon nanotubes so far. So that's not a thing. And we could potentially tear apart some of our... Eh, we don't have a lot of extra of the carbon armor. Okay, so that's not a thing. Um, we have carbon nan nanotubes over there. We've got ore over there. We've got more berries over there. So it seems like Simon should take off on a trip to go get something. Um, ore in stock is what? Plenty of these guys now. We have some alloy in stock. I'm not seeing a lot of ore. 160. Only 190 carbon nanotubes. That's probably more of a problem. Okay. So that, I think that's the answer. So Simon, you're going to do that. And then... Here? It is here. What's lit up over there? That's more ore. Okay. Then you're going to make a run and haul that. Edmund, you're moving that. You're in good shape otherwise. Let's get you working on these guys next construct those so Paulette you are going to continue making foods I think we can take a little bit of a break from that come on over and butcher these first before you head in Rita could use some foods yep and then she can come out and butcher a run of these guys so I'm looking for a five let's two Huh. Do that and do that. So who's left? Umiar, what you doing? You're eating. Then I'm going to leave you to make bricks. No. Because we're about to strip out a whole bunch of brick walls, which are going to leave us a lot of extra brick. So in that case, let's continue making alloy from ore. Okay. Okay. You're handling a furnace. Okay, you'll be just making things. All right, so with that, Carter is doing his thing. Then he'll get back to work over here. Because I don't think Carter is... Oh, he's set for farming next. What does that mean? You're going to go feed Prince. Okay. And you guys are okay. Actually, Prince is probably fine for a while. He's got plenty. Carter, how about getting the next barn built 
Let's do that and then do that. Yeah, let's get that going. I don't know how long it takes them to to uh, birth a new Olfen. So that might surprise us one day. Okay. Umiar is continuing to... He's making alloy. Someone needs to catch this. I would have sent Kana to that project, but she is not here anymore. Any more foods out here to bring in? Still got these to be brought in. Uh, Paulette is bringing in some of that. Great. Carter's doing that. Rita is doing that. Simon is... Yep, he's on his way. You're going to get this area built. Tell you what, you're dropping off the one. Then let's have you run out and bring in these guys before they go bad. So, hall grain. Perfect. Put that. It's going to turn purple. Though it didn't. It is so hard to click you. One of one is there, but it didn't turn purple. Maybe it doesn't for a repair. All right, so fuel's cooking. How's the fuel here? Uh, half full and full. So they have been supplying that or keeping track of that. We are above 70%. So we've got positive 123 coming in. What changed? The wind? 37 to 40, the wind. Big difference. Okay. Um, do we have enough now? Three of five. And still one. All right. So when Simon gets back, he'll finish that very last electronic and we'll get the battery going. Otherwise, we've got Edmund over here and Bone Crusher's angry that they're... Uh, that they don't get first picks here. Otherwise, Evan's just going to keep working his way through the pile. Uh, Carter's getting this guy built. It's going to be nice to see. Motion sensor. That's a different one. What just happened there? Oh, I did put a second one in. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, this guy's built and there's no side fences because the fence goes through it. Interesting. Okay. Um, do we want to eliminate that fence inside there? I don't know if they can squeeze through this. I'm not sure about that. Huh. So we have two motion sensors. You are tracking there. More rumbling. And you actually... Okay, I, I saw the wrong one, but you are covering the same ground. You can actually go away. <laughs> is there any advantage to a third one here? I don't think there is. So, where are you? Right there. And shift click, maybe? Yeah. So that's what we've got. I don't think there's any need for more. So, let's not spend the power on this one. What's that taking? It's only six. Let's turn you off. We'll make that decision later. We'll just set you to be turned off. So, Carter, you went where? You are working on the ceiling lamp, right? Then you're going to get something to eat. Then you're going to handle this guy. And I have a feeling we're going to get a radio announcement before this day's out. It always seems to happen the second evening. You're out over here, just to spread you guys around. That's probably a mistake. But we, when the wind is going, we have enough power. We are plus 49, plus 42, plus 41. The sun's going down. Ah, okay. So Carter's going to do that. Actually, since you're here, Carter, go ahead and repair that. Then come on out and do this. Okay. So that's all done. Yeah, too bad they don't have to go out and clean the snow off of uh, off of the, uh, the solar panels. That would feel a little more realistic. 
We've got fuel sitting on the ground there. Carter, Edmund is going to continue butchering. That's going to be his life for a while. I don't want it to be Carter's life, though. Let's just lose only one of our carpenters to this. So let's get these built next. This is Carter, yeah. Uh, wooden floors. So that was all of them? Wooden floors. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Yep, I did. All right, pause that. Let's do that again. So, copy. There to there. And copy there. So, try that again. Now, I'm clicking here, but it's accepting the one over there. So, it's, it's always confusing. I wish it didn't do this in groups. Wish I could choose specifically which one I wanted. But you get to work on those and then I guess start bringing the stuff out. Get those going. Ah. Those going. And I've lost my fencing. Yep. So, get you going. Um, copy. You're going from there to there to there. And from there to there. Now, I can't extend this beyond, right? There's no such thing as cantilevering these. No. Though, let me go down to the ground like that. That's interesting. All right, so Carter, when you're done, well, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you alone. You'll probably bring enough to do everything. All the carbon at the same time. <clears throat> Is there anyone that can give Edmund a hand? Rita is cooking. She's making bread. Paulette has decided to go back to um, to crafting. <clears throat> Simon, did you make it back? You just got back. You brought those. 190... Why am I not... Did you deliver them all? I don't know what you did. You may have dumped them all into... You... Wow. Ha! 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 So we didn't do these. We did these. So he brought back and just preloaded everything. Ah. So Simon, when you're done with that... And you're getting... Actually, can you deliver? Construct. Bring that last one over. Then I guess next episode, it's already 8 p.m., but next episode I can have you go get more of the carbon nanotubes. But you can preload this guy. And then, uh, yeah, I guess get one more built for, for backup. Did this happen? I don't know if she actually planted it. I switched it over to... Um, the... No, stop. Well, I guess you can do it. I don't think you can botch the job. I don't think that's a thing here. It's just going to take you a lot longer. Now, let's have you go back to what you do best. Make me one more electronic. Carter can do that and do it so fast. But you are constructing a fence. Edmund is on his way back in. So, Edmund, when you get done, before you rest, you can construct a battery. Okay. Lumiar is keeping these, these furnaces going. We just need more bricks, but as these get rebuilt, bricks should start flying out, landing on the ground. I do need someone to reset some traps, but we have enough traps that if it doesn't get done, they're still not going to be able to make it very far in. So that's probably not too much of a worry. More of a worry, I think, is to get this done and to test this theory. And once that's done, yeah, we need to get these all rebuilt and strengthen this area. Strengthen this area. And we're going to be pretty good here. Oh, so Carter's going to preload these as well as up above. I think you're doing that right now. Boom. Yep. And you're doing it really slow. <laughs> I'm hearing noises. Oh, that's you walking in the snow. Interesting. I thought it was a Pankoff chewing away. 
So Simon is assembling. Rita is transporting. Rita, you can go for a little bit longer. Let's come out of here and at least take out this guy. Did you guys get set? You did. So Rita, why don't you do both of those? Um, scissor hand, the big one. You do that one. So you are a scissor hand. How come I didn't get the chance to do both? You do this one as well. And that thump. That was a Carter thing. What did you thump? I don't know. Okay, wh where was Edmund? He's inside. Oh, Edmund got this done. That was the thump. Okay. These are backwards. Just noticing they're, they're turned backwards, so they're... The lights go from the different end. And you are doing it. Oh, this is the cool air coming in. That's why that that look. Okay. Temperature inside here is 14 degrees. Four, 13 degrees. So we're holding. Good. Um, we did not get these moved out of there. I suppose that's fine. Evan's going to bed. Paul's going to bed. <clears throat> Carter. If you can just get all the stuff preloaded. That'll be enough. Next time we'll get that built. Alright, dumping those off. And Carter, why don't you go to bed? Who else? Rita's getting these two done. Let's make sure she brings the meat in. Then she'll be done for the night as well. Simon is finishing up that one. That's fine. Okay, bringing in the meat. That's all I see out here, so you did it. Okay, then. Um, Umiar, your fullness is fine. When you get up in the morning, in case I forget next time, let's start handling traps and get as much of these reset as possible. Any more? Handle traps times 10 and times 5. I think that does it. Okay, so that's for next time. What else? Um... I guess just kind of continue, but Evan will do that on his own. It's automatic. Um, we're fine on hay, so we don't need to cut that. And did we ever get all of the branches hauled in? Looks like we did. Branches are only 200, so we gotta got to do that again. In fact, let's just set a bunch of these to cut. So that'll be for next time as well. So no radio call. Maybe next episode we'll start it with that. So I think I'm going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.